Hello viewers, in this tutorial we will see the procedure to make a three-dimensional model of a kitchen using AutoCAD. We will create various components in a kitchen such as the base cabin, the skirting below the base cabin, the handles on the cabinets, the kitchen slab, the tiles in the kitchen, the overhead cabin which are glazed, the light box below the overhead cabin, the open box over here, then the crown on the top of the overhead cabin. We will also create the doors as well as the windows. After completing the 3D model of the kitchen, we will see the procedure in AutoCAD to generate a perspective. We will generate a single point perspective, a two point perspective, as well as a three point perspective. We will explore the commands and the various options to generate the perspective. This entire video is divided into various small segments to facilitate learning. So that is used to systematically organize the topics. So shall we start? All the best. Let the size of the kitchen be 360 by 420. So I'll set the limits with the lower left corner at 0, 0, and the upper right corner at 500, 500 and I'll give a zoom all. Now I would like to start with the polyline from this point and I'll go 420 in the vertical direction and I'll come 360 in the horizontal direction and I'll come down again 420 in the vertical direction and I'll give an offset of 24 units outside because the wall thickness has to be outside because what I said is a clearance dimension. Now I'll pick the, I'll connect these two endpoints using uh, polylines and I would like to join these uh, four profiles into a single object so that I'll be able to extrude it. So I'll give pedit and I'll give last. So it has selected the last drone polyline and I'll go to join option and I would like to join all the objects. So I'll just give all. Now all the segments are joined as a single segment. Now we have got a message here that seven segments added to polyline. And now I'll extrude this profile uh, with the height of extrusion of 300, which is the height of the wall. Okay, now I would like to generate a southeast isometric or else I can say I can I, I would like to generate a right a front top view. So I have two options. I can either go to Vpoint 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 or else I can uh, click on this particular point over here to get the southeast isometric and that is generated. Now uh, what I'll do is uh, this is the wall. And I would like to create some openings over here. So first of all, I have to create an opening for the door because I have a door over here. Then I also have a window here. So let me create those openings first. So I'll go to UCS and I'll align the UCS with the origin here, X here and Y here. And I want the door uh, to start from a point which is at a distance of 24 centimeter from here. So I'll draw a polyline at a distance of 24 comma zero uh, because uh, my polyline has to start at a distance of 24 centimeter from this origin. Now I'll go all the way up. So I'll give 210 as the height because that is the height of the lintel. And I'll give uh, the width of the door as 90. And then I'll come down again 210. Then I'll give just close. Okay, so I've made a profile of the door. Now I'll simply extrude this profile at a distance of minus 24. Uh, so I've made a solid object. Uh, which, which represents uh, the size of the door and I can go for a subtraction operation. I'll go to subtract and I've selected the wall and just give an enter and I'll select the uh, door uh, solid. So the subtraction is performed. So I've made an opening for the door and I would like to create an opening for the window here. Uh, so I'll align my UCS with the three point here with the origin here, X here and Y here. And I'll construct a rectangle. You can construct it anywhere on the screen uh, with the uh, starting point here and uh, let the size of the window be uh, 150 by 100 because I would like to create a three panel window. So I'll give at the rate uh, 150 comma 100 as a uh, window height, uh, as a window size. So that window profile is created. And now I'll move the profile and I'll select this as the base point and uh, this as a second point. So window is aligned centrally with this wall. Now I should move this window all the way down to match with the lintel. 
So I should bring it down to the Linda level. So I'll go to move command. I'll select the profile of the window. I have selected the base point. It can be anywhere on the screen. And I have to move straight vertically down. So I point my cursor in the Y direction and I'll give a height of 90 units. So it has matched with the lintel. Now I'll just give extrude to extrude this profile and I'll give a height of minus 24, which is the thickness of the wall. Now I'll go to subtract and from here I'll subtract the solid. So this is the cutout for the window. You can just sh uh, give a shade and you can experience uh, the shaded representation. Okay, now you can just undo. Uh, now I would like to create cabinets. We know that a kitchen will have a base cabin and an overhead cabin. So let me create the base cabin first. Before you create a cabinet, it is better that you make a layer in which you can keep the cabinet. So I'll go to layer command and I'll go to new option and I'll call this uh, layer as uh, base cabin. Uh, I'll call it as base cabin and uh, I will give a suitable color for the base cabin. Let it be this particular shade. Uh, so that is, that, is, that is given. And I would like to make that as a current layer so that whatever I draw will fall in this particular layer. So base cabin is a current layer. Now I would like to create a profile over here. So obviously I should align the UCS with the floor level. So the easiest method is just give UCS command and just give an enter because when you give enter it executes the world. You know that WCS is on the base. So it has gone to the floor level and now I'll go to polyline and I'll start from here. I'll trace this and I would like to uh, get a point which is corresponding to this over here. So the easiest method is to make use of point filters. You know that X coordinate of this point to be plotted will be the same as X of this and the Y coordinate of the point to be plotted over here will be the same as Y of this. If you have any clarifications related with point filters, you can refer my previous video on point filters. Uh, so I'll go to point filters and I'll select dot x off this particular point and uh, dot y off this particular point. So those two points are selected and I'll just give an enter. So the profile outer profile for the cabinet is traced. Now I'll give an offset. You know that uh, thickness of the cabinet is 60 units. So I'll just give 60 and uh, I'll select this as the object to offset and this is a side to offset. Now uh, I'll just connect these two endpoints as well as these two endpoints to uh, complete the profile. Now obviously I have to connect these profiles into a single unit by going to pedit. I'll go to last and I'll go to join and I'll give all. It'll select all the adjacent profiles which are having end-to-end -end contact. Now I have to actually uh, move this profile straight up because you know that in the kitchen there is a skirting. So the skirting will have a height of 10 units. So obviously this cabin starts from this 10 units height. So I should move this cabinet uh, through a distance of 10 units straight up. So I'll select this as a base point and, uh, and just point the cursor in this direction and you give a height of 10 units. So it is moved through a height of 10 units. Now I should give an extrusion for this cabinet. You know that the total height of the slab level of the kitchen is 80 centimeter and uh, the skirting takes up around 10 centimeter and the slab thickness will be 2.5 so when you subtract from 80 this 10 plus 2.5 you get 67.5 so i should extrude this profile through a distance of 67.5 units uh, for the height in order to give the height of the cabinet so it has taken that e height of extrusion now i'm going to create the skirting and the skirting can also be kept in the base cabin layer because both the skirting and the cabinet will have the same material or the finish. So you obviously uh, create the layers based on the finishes. Uh, so I'll create, I'll trace the profile for the skirting over here. Okay. Now I'll give an offset for the skirting, which is five centimeter inside. So I'll give five. This is the object to be offset. And this is a side. Okay. That is offset. Now you can erase the outer profile because that's no longer required. I have to again, uh, give a thickness uh, for this profile which is used to create the skirting. The best method to give a thickness for the skirting is using a command called change property because you know say change property command will let you generate a sur surface out of a profile. So I give change property and I've selected the profile uh, then it will ask you which property to change. I'll select thickness here so I'll give thickness. So it'll ask you for the thickness. Thickness is minus 10 because it has to be given in the negative as a direction. 
the again again you will come back to the uh, property options just give one more additional enter to go out of this command now you have made you have just created a surface uh, to simulate uh, the skirting so you this uh, is perfect surface model whereas uh, this particular cabin is a solid model so you can actually go for a combination of change property command and extrude command uh, as and when required uh, it is a hidden representation now you can see the cabinet over here now i have to create a slab on the top for that i should start with again a polyline but before you do that it is better that you create another layer for the slab so i'll go to layer command and i'll give new option and i'll give a name as a, as a slab that is the name given for the slab layer and i'll change the color to somewhere around gray shade uh, you can give any color of your choice i have given gray here and I would like to make that as a current layer. Uh, now I'll trace a polyline over here. And now you, the slab has got an offset of one centimeter to one inch outside. So that offset is to be given. So I'll give offset command and I'll give an offset of 2.5 centimeter, which is equivalent to one inch and select object to offset and the site to offset. Now this profile can be erased, okay. This uh, slab has to be a solid object, so you have to extrude it. So obviously you have to uh, make it as a closed boundary. So I'll go to polyline command and I'll start from here. You can just zoom in and select this point so that it will be accurate. And you can come back to this and this and you can select this end point as the last point. Now you can just close this as a single object. So I'll go to pre-edit. And I'll select this profile and I'll go to join option and I'll give all. Now you can see that it has three segments added to the existing polyline. Now this is a single profile. Now you can just extrude this through a height of 2.5 units, which is the height of the slab. Now you can see that you have made a slab and you can give one more shade to experience the finish for the slab as well as for the cabinets. So this is how you make a base cabin and a slab while creating a three-dimensional model of the kitchen.